Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of Create This Journal. As you can see, the first change I've made is that I've added a clear layer of tape to the front of the journal to protect it. And this episode, I'm going to show you how I made this page, this page, this page, and this right page. The left one is for later. So let's get into it. So for this page, I started by sketching out uh, this picture of this cat on a balcony with flowers. And here I'm just taking a black fine liner and doing all the line work. Now I'm taking my colored markers and first I'm just starting on the cat and I'm adding some colors as a base as the under layer to create some different colors in the fur of the cat. And then I'm using little strokes to fill in the rest of the cat's fur. And I'm trying to do this to make it seem like fur and it wasn't my goal to make this realistic. I just wanted to seem pretty and nice and have it. I tried to go for a certain aesthetic like yeah a bit like flowery and summery. So yeah that's what I'm doing here. Then I went back in with the yellow and just filled all the gaps between the lines and some of them I filled with the pink. And then I proceeded to color in the rest of the drawing with just some bright uh, summery colors. So yeah. how this page turned out. I like the colorfulness and the simpleness and just the scenery. So yeah, let's get on to the next page. For this page I first um, covered an entire page with different colored crayons and now I'm just using a black crayon to cover it all in black. And I'll explain in a moment why I'm doing this but it looks pretty satisfying. Now I'm just taking a toothpick and by scratching the top layer away, I was planning to uh, form an image. So here I'm just sketching what the basic lines. And here I'm filling in the forms. But when, what I noticed when doing this is that it was really like impossible to get an even uh, color between. 
because you really see the scratch lines and I don't know why because I remember doing this a lot in like lower school and in my memory it, it always worked out a lot better but I don't know maybe it's because I used thicker paper back then or better crayons but I tried a few different uh, objects to scrape it away like these scissors but it didn't really work like I wanted to so that was kind of sad but here I'm just scratching all of the parts away This was what it was looking like right now, but I wasn't really happy with it yet. It is supposed to be like this space scenery with the planets and this character standing in front of them, but I wanted the colors to be much more vibrant than they were now. So I tried like scratching some more and it helped a bit, but not as much as I wanted it to. So I ended up just giving up and covering the whole thing in a layer of Mod Podge because it was getting everywhere and I was getting a little frustrated. So I, I'm not really happy with how this turned out but I decided to share it anyway because I want to share my entire journey here so not only the good parts and maybe I'll do a redo of this later and try it again. So yeah. Because I do like the idea and the design a lot, like, but I wish I could have executed it better. So I'm going to try that again in a future video. On to the next page. I really love this page. So I started by stealing some flowers from the government, well, just from their park, and I uh, put them, folded them into some parchment paper and then into some tissue paper. And then I dried them in the microwave. So I did it like a f uh, in 30 second intervals and then a few times. And I ended up with a lot of pretty dried flowers, even though some of them dried prettier than others. So I started by covering the page that I was gonna use in um, some brown packing paper this isn't parchment paper but it looks like it and then I started planning where I wanted the flowers to be I cut this kind of face like shape out of some other pretty paper that I had Then I just use some regular glue to stick the flowers down onto the paper. And I stuck the face uh, on top of the bottom of the flowers to make them seem like they are inside the face. So I thought it looked really pretty right now, but the only problem was that the flowers were already falling apart, especially the white one and like the yellowish one. So I decided to add some clear tape to the entire page and this does look make it look less pretty, that's true. But I think during over time it is the best way to preserve them because it's better to have them a little less pretty than just to have no flowers anymore because they fall off but I still like how this turned out a lot I just love that it that they are real flowers in there and I like the face and I'm really happy with this page so yeah here's a little bonus page I just did the scribble page I tried to make this kind of trees but I was just randomly scribbling a bit anyways thank you so much for watching uh, this video I really appreciate it and I really love, have loved this create this journal uh, thing that I've been doing. I really want to get, um, continue doing this. 
I just love the idea that I'm kind of forcing myself to do something creative every day and I really enjoy that and making these video videos also keep, keeps me motivated to actually do it. So thank you so much for watching, like, comment, subscribe and bye!